How much time do we have? We have three hours left. This is not going according to plan. Okay, let's play the game. Oh, what's up everybody? <laughs> I forgot how to do an intro. What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey and this is the Not So Very Show. The show where every generation is a different color and this generation is orange, but it soon will be pink. I'm your host, Kelsey. Today we will continue on our path of becoming a super villain and making everybody in our life question our life choices and taking care of two beautiful baby girls. We are slowly but surely wrapping up the orange gen. Here's a little quick reminder if you've forgotten. We need to master baking and charisma skills. We've mastered one of those. We need to master the criminal career and complete the public enemy aspiration. We are, I think at level seven of the criminal career and we are on the last section of the public enemy aspiration. We're living in a needs TLC apartment. We have twins and we insist on being evil. So we only have like to finish baking the career and the aspiration left. I'm hoping to do that in the next couple episodes and then we'll be moving on to the pink generation, which is like all about creativity, writing and wellness, etc, etc, etc. We'll get deeper into that as we go, but let's do, let's jump in. Since I've last seen you guys, I've been CC shopping. You can go watch that video on my second channel, more Kelsey in PGK, but I've gotten some new pink stuff for the girls and I'm really, really excited. I gave them both makeovers and I'm really obsessed. So this is our Air Rose Berry. She's got wavy pink hair that reminds you a little bit of her mother. We also got some glasses, which I love. I think she suits them super well. And she's just a perfect little soft bean. This is her everyday, her formal wear, her athletic wear, her nighttime wear, some of her other little outfits. If you're interested in checking out any of these outfits that are CC, I have linked all of those on my Patreon. It's free to look at. And then here's Briar. So one of you recommended maybe making Briar hot pink. I thought that was so fun and I got really excited about it. So here's Briar. I downloaded these gorgeous hot pink braids for her. I think she looks like very fun. She's our little like nerd. I also saw some people suggest that she might be a little bit more like her father, a little bit more of like a spitfire and a little bit more up to mischief. So I was thinking she could be, since she's a nerd, she could be kind of a hacker. I know I've mentioned a hacker for like multiple characters, but I haven't actually had a hacker yet. I love their makeovers. I'm super duper happy with what I found. It is like challenging to find pastel hair for kids. So I think I did a pretty good job of like differentiating them. And I'm really liking Rose being kind of this pastel pink queen. It gives me a soft girl who loves to write and wants to be a romance author, which is exactly what I'm looking for. We continue. First things first, that our girls have aged up, which means we need a room makeover. Mm, mm, e, a, u, ba. I just love makeovers. That's like half of the fun of The Sims, right? I don't know, maybe just me. Oh my God, I forgot I had a party. I was like, what are all these people doing here? So here is our girly in the flesh and here's our other girly briar. I just think they are so perfect together. I'm obsessed. Anyway, I am going to be doing a little remodel of the room. They're still pretty young, so I don't wanna like do too much different, but I want them to kind of like have it be a little more mature. Since they both love pink, I won't feel bad about making an entirely pink room. It would kind of suck if one of them didn't like pink, you know? So I like that Briar is like also into pink and is more of like a hot pink girly. That's gonna be one bed. This one's just so cute and perfect, but I feel like it looks too expensive. This one's a little more pastel, so I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I think I like that because I want them to have like a little desk in the room. I like this kind of pink. It looks like a desk from like a school, but like we painted it. I like that concept for some reason. So we're gonna do that. And then we need like a little computer. I feel like, that's perfect for the girls. They can share. And then we can have a little white or pink rug. Maybe we should do this in a size smaller. That's really cute. I like it. I like it. Ah, Picasso, beautiful. So we have the computer kind of for the postcard collection. Yeah, we need that. This is so hard. Where do I put this little cork board? We could put it in like the main room. Like maybe, maybe she puts them up up here. I think that's cute. I like the idea that she puts them outside the room. I feel like we need some little activities. Also the computer would be good for for Briar because she loves like nerdy stuff. So I feel like actually that's 
perfect. And then I was thinking maybe Briar might also vibe with music. Also, there's a hot pink violin, like stop. That's perfect. I just like that they both are really creative, but one is super like techie and creative and one of them is like more of like a writer creative. Oh, there's new curtains. Oh my God, stop. These curtains are so funny. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't not have this. Look at that. That is so cute. I am deceased. I am dead and deceased. Oh, this kind of like makes me think that they're getting more into teen stuff because they got like a CD collection. I also like that there might be like more kids stuff around the house now that they're like a little older. Signs that he has two growing girls. Oh, this rocket ship totally gives me Briar energy because she's like a little nerd. So we'll add that. You know, maybe she liked that. I want to just have little pops of each of the girls. I think it's super cute to see like what each of them might gravitate towards. I'm just spending all my money on the girls' room. Listen, look at his room. He's sleeping with like nothing. There's nothing going on in this. And then their room is just an adorable explosion. It's so perfect. I'm obsessed. Ooh, and then this little pillow, like this little pillow for yoga. Perfect. And we just have just enough money. I wonder if she can use it. She can, she can meditate already. Okay, fabulous. This is perfect. Okay, so she can work on her skills of writing and wellness and her sister can work on some skills of like computer science and violin, future guitar player, I think. All right, the room has been upgraded. I'm obsessed with it. It's so wild and cute and I'm loving it. All right, it is Thursday. They don't have school tomorrow. Oh no, they do have school tomorrow. <gasps> Why don't you both grab a piece of cake? All right, it's still technically your guys' birthday. She's so cute. I love them both so much. Look at Briar. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh no, and this is broken. So let's repair it. And the hot neighbor is like pantsless and shirtless. I thought he was just shirtless last time, but wow, he really said, get you a man that wears neither. And these three are seeming to get along pretty well. Violet, looks like she was swapping numbers with Taryn. Maybe they're becoming friends. Sterling and Ash, maybe we should invite them over regularly until one of them dies. I'm just saying, it would be convenient, you know, if one of them died and we witnessed it. Look at the girlies, doing a good job. Oh my gosh, look at her hanging out with her uncle and her great uncle. So surrounded by family eating her pink cake. Can you like read? Okay, no. Mom, please get off their computer. I'm going to lock computer for everyone but the household. I don't want you on here, mom, but thank you. Oh, she doesn't like that it's messy in here. That is so cute. Whereas Briar could not care less about the mess. She's just vibing, chatting with everyone. She's gonna be helpful. You know, she's she's a sweetheart. She will be helpful and, and clean up around the house, but she's not like really bothered by it. Oh, now she, now she is. Oh, he dislikes handiness. No, Fox, that's gonna make everything so hard. Rose, why don't you go read something? Have you finished fixing it? Okay, he did finish fixing that, so that's good. And of course, Briar is on the computer playing video games and Rose is reading a book or she's going to. That is so perfect for Briar. I love that she's just on the computer playing her little video games. Oh, she's shouting forbidden words. Wow, learning some sassy gamer language early there. Okay, girl, love that for you. Ooh, she could be a gamer, like a pro gamer. Oh, and then of course, Rose is just reading. Her fun's going up. Oh, and also shouting some forbidden words. Oh, they're growing up quite fast. They're already acting like teens, to be honest. Don't go nap, go to sleep in your bunk. This is your bunk. That one's Briar and this one is Rose. Oh, and wow, Davy Bowen is also reading in here with her. A little odd, Davy, but okay, fair enough. It is 8.30, oh, she's a little hot and uncomfy because she's tired, but she's gonna read before bed. Oh, girl, after my own heart. I wonder what she's reading. What are you reading, girly? Orbital pudding, I wonder what that's about. A mountain-sized glob of coconut pudding is lobbed into orbit to study its potential for sustaining life on other planets. It is nonfiction, but oh my God, is that the nerdiest thing I've ever heard. Yet I like that the girls are pulled nerds in different ways. <laughs> Why don't you go to bed, sweetie? I know you're staying up late reading your books, but maybe for the best that you go. Looks like everyone but our neighbor headed out of the party. Oh my gosh, the neighbors are being loud again. They're shouting in the hallway. We're gonna go pound at the door. Excuse me, my daughters are trying to sleep. It is 10.30. <laughs> she's gonna bro browse books because she's tired and Byer is gonna go eat more cake. Here is Soren. Oh my gosh, Soren. Please shut up. I'm really sick of hearing your complaints. No one tells me what to do. I can do what I want, so just chill out. Oh, you think you can do what you want, Soren? Maybe you'll be the witness. I'll witness your death, Soren. Try to sleep now. It says she can't. I'm curious if maybe it's like the beds have to be on this side. They can both get in there now. And Dad is still yelling at Soren in the hallway. <laughs> 
I feel like it might be time for you to maybe clean up a little bit around the house. And then I want you to read some of your baking books. We'll help work on your, your skill. No, get out of my house. Oh, well, you're taking garbage out. I guess you can stay. Go to sleep, sweetie. We took care of that nasty neighbor. He knows his place. He took our garbage out. He knows what he did was wrong. What are you doing, sir? Please read. His skills are going up by reading that. Perfect. All right, working on baking skill, getting that up. The girls are sleeping, which is so good. It is Friday. I think they go to school today. They do. Neither of them have done their homework, but it's like their first day of school, okay? Who does homework on their first day of school? He's eating cake while reading his baking book. That's just like the most him thing I can think of, to be honest. This is the most orange gen thing I've ever heard of, is eating a bar of your baking snacks while reading your book about baking. Where is he going? Why are you going all the way downstairs to read this book? Why is he so glitched? It feels like he won't read this book. Smells like rotten egg. Oh yeah, he's upset by the odor. Maybe we should call our landlord about the odor. I don't want the girls to smell decaying body. Oh, she needs to go, but dad's in the shower. Dad, you got emergency, okay? You got to get out of the shower. Your little daughter needs to pee. I love her little glasses. Oh, such a cutie. I also love that she can use the toilet now, like a big kid. You know, potty training is not my favorite part of having toddlers. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Can you go back to sleep just for like a couple more hours? There we go. Briar is up. She is ready to go. She's gonna go grab some cake for breakfast. Oh, she's tense because of the rotten egg smell too. Yeah, dad, I feel like you might wanna have to call. Oh, speaking of this, we can change the background to be orange. Love that for him. And we can even change his phone to be orange. Need this one. It looks like flames. And rose can be pink. And then this one will be hot pink. Love that. Look at them. So cute. A little different, but very similar. Clean that up. Then maybe you can work on your homework in the morning. Briar, such a responsible bean. I do want that like when they both finish high school and move out, I want them to move in together and live together at least until maybe one or both of them gets married and finds someone. I'm gonna play as both of the girls for a long time. All right, Roves, get up. It's time for school almost. So you need to go grab some food. Her sister, did she do all of her homework? Oh, she wants to chat with her sister. The twins are so sweet. I love how close they are. It makes me super happy. Little pink babies. Oh, she's also tense because of the, the smell in the hallway. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to call our landlord about that. Why don't you do your homework too, sweetheart? Briar is singing a little song for Rose and she supported her. She said how good she was. I just could watch these two forever chatting together. Oh, but you guys, gotta go to grade school. You don't want to be late to your first day of school. Bye ladies. Have fun. I love you both. We're going to work on dad's baking today. He's going to bake up a literal storm. Principal's visit. Today the principal is visiting Briar's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. See, Rose would ignore it. Briar would ask the kid to stop. She'd be like, Briar scribbles a note and passes it back to the kid. Stop or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and fires it at Briar, but it misses, rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets in trouble and Briar gets off scot-free. So we're going to bake. Let's do like brownies first. We're getting up. Oh God, the mouse is back in the girl's room too. It's running around. You know what? Honestly, let's complain to the landlord. The landlord should come and fix the mouse and the smell issue. Lunch of sadness. Some other kid threatened Briar and took her lunch money. She's been crying in the office. Oh, even though she's a little tough, She's a little softy on the inside. Oh, find the kid or I will. That's 100% what he would say. He'd be like, you don't want me to find the kid. He would never say she needs to stand up for herself. He is He's a protective papa bear for sure. I look at him, he's sad just hearing that his sweet angel daughter is getting picked on at school. Oh, I hate that for him. He's making some brownies. He's like, the girls will love these when they get home. Oh God, this is kind of hard to read. Roman Hayes is mad that we have enemies. Get in line, Roman, okay? Got a lot of enemies, all right? Oh, we collected everything from the mailbox. What's in the mailbox. Oh, toys for the girls. And look at that. Our public image is neutral. It's gone down quite a bit. Well, that's, you know, to be expected. He's probably mad that it's just neutral. He's like, where would be the infamy? Oh, we got two robots. I'm going to say that like that was the robot that was a gift and I'm going to sell these ones because we don't really need them. Good. The landlord is here. What's cooking good looking? Who is this? Rico. I mean, you're kind of good looking too. Come on in. You know, we need more people to enjoy enjoy our baking anyway. We'll bake you up something real good. We'll bake you up some sugar cookies. What's up, good looking? You're looking good to me. Maybe Fox would be into you. Oh, the girls are home! 
Fox reached level seven of the baking skill. Yes. Okay, that's a successful day. She's embarrassed. What happened, sweetie? Awful school day. Dropped a tray in front of everyone in the cafeteria today. How embarrassing. Oh, my God. Poor baby. And Briar is feeling pretty good. Someone else got in trouble today and she had a productive school day. So Briar had a good day and poor Rose <laughs> did not have a great of a day. She needs some fun. So I feel like she'll go back into her little reading and go read something. Maybe we could like buy her a little meditation book. Yeah, why don't she read a wellness book? Maybe she'll find that at a used bookstore and like that starts her interest into wellness. She'd be like, what is this? Exploring the mind-body connection. She's like, I could definitely use something for the mind right now. Versus Briar is chilling. She can go maybe work on her homework and Fox is baking. So everyone's enjoying their, their hobbies. Do not play with my children's toy, Rico. If you break that toy, I swear, I will buy her a new one, but still. What a cute dad. He's like made his girl's cookies for after school and he's cleaning up after himself. And he's feeling pretty good because he's near misery. I don't know who's miserable. Maybe our landlord. We didn't introduce ourselves yet to Rico. So let's do a little cheerful introduction. Be like, this is me and my daughters. He likes us pretty well. Excellent. I love that Rose is just reading, getting her a little fun up. Is she learning anything in the skill? No, she can't learn that skill yet. That's lame. Okay, we'll have to work on these skills in order to start leveling up. So probably creativity might be first. I kind of want her to get a pen pal. How do we do that? I feel like maybe she'll have to do it as a teen. Rats, okay. So not only can I not learn the wellness thing yet, but I also cannot get the pen pal thing yet until she's a teen. Maybe that's for her own safety that she's not doing that. So until then, we'll. Start Start working on the artistic prodigy mainly because i feel like that'll help her with her skills like down the line so we need an activity table i think this little crafty like car is so funny it honestly looks like dad made it for them which is so cute i wish it could fit in their room but it looks kind of like it won't maybe we'll put it here under here and we'll put the bookcase somewhere else that means that this can actually be deleted this looks good it's a little messy but that's kind of like what having kids happens sometimes oh she's asking Asking advice from dad. She says some schools were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? I feel like dad would want someone to step in and stand up for your friend, but I feel like he'd be protective and be like, no, don't put yourself in harm's way, okay? Let's step in and stand up for your friend. Why don't you take a nice little thoughtful shower, sweetie, and then draw some photos while inspired. Will you not obliterate the rat, sir? Is it because there's something in the way of the hole? There he goes, yep, that was it. Oh, you made more cookies. So much cooking from this boy. Why would you put our trash right there? And don't laugh at my daughter, okay? She's working on a new skill. Ooh, she's feeling inspired. Okay, perfect. Draw shapes. You're gonna work on your creativity. We're gonna make you an artistic prodigy, which will be helpful for her to like gain some skills later in life. Totally worth it. How you doing, Briar? She's working on her creativity too. I also feel like it'd be cute for her to like play Sims and stuff, play video games. She's back on, on her online games and Rose is making a mess. No, no, Rose. You could just uh, make another painting here. Why is it like draw two pictures while inspired? We just drew one and it didn't count. I'm offended. Briar just became acquaintances with Flame. I don't know how she did that because flame is dead. However, you know, happy for her. Oh, he had so many friends and now he feels sad because he doesn't have as many friends as he used to. That's super sad. Why don't you maybe run? He's chatting with his daughter. Maybe that'll cheer him up going on a jog. He's got work tomorrow, I think. Yep, 23 hours. Tomorrow night, late. Hopefully we'll finally get a promotion for that one. Finish the first level of Artistic Prodigy. No, 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 don't finish that. Don't finish that. You have to draw the picture while inspired. Oh my God. The neighbor is loud again. That's not gonna help us. Okay, dad, the neighbors are woohooing. Come home. He's thinking about Indy. Oh, he's chatting with Indy. Is Indy here? He's like having his own little adventure over here. The girls are upstairs like angry as heck because of the loud woohoo. Oh, poor girls. Oh man, they're cursing and everything. Dad, you should probably come home and yell at these people. Oh my gosh, we can't stop them. Well, we're just gonna have to wait it out, girls. I'm sorry. What? Is something on fire? I heard a noise that sounded like something was on fire. Did you hear that? That was so creepy. Ugh. Is he helping his daughter with homework? I feel like he should. That'd be so cute. Why don't you help her with her homework? Briar is so mad. Storming around the house like, I hate these neighbors. I bet she'd try to fight them too, honestly. Briar can go pound on the door. Oh my God, Briar, go do it. Oh my God. She's like marching angrily with her piece of cake. Her father's daughter to a T out here banging on the door being like, hey you. <gasps> 
It's Davy Bowen, our hot neighbor, having too much woohoo. Maybe do like a friendly introduction. Be like, hello, can you please not do this? And then maybe she's gonna complain about the noise. So she's getting chewed out by like an eight year old. I'm so sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. Now she's gonna apologize. He's like, I'm sorry, I was mad. And he's like, it's okay. Now he's going back inside. Why are you little queen? I love you to pieces. That was so funny. Still eating her cake, by the way. Love that for her. She is such a little cute. Oh, he's storming into her house. Please don't do anything rude, okay? We're trying to be friends here. Now he's just venting in the mirror. All right, good for you, buddy. But my girlies need to go to bed. Oh, her outfit perfectly matches this little bed up here. And Briar's outfit perfectly matches her little bed too. So cute. Maybe we'll take him to a park tomorrow. Fox needs, as usual, to work on his baking skills. Our neighbor's just hanging out with us now. Were you like hooking up with someone? That's what's so bizarre to me is like, we banged on the door because there was loud like hookup music. And I just don't understand why he's over when he probably has someone over at his house. We're reading our book now about baking. He's learning so much. This is perfect. On level seven, we're 27% complete. This is great. This is going very well. It's not going that fast. Baking is a hard skill, man. Okay, Davey, I think you should be going home. As fun as it is having you in our place. Thanks, buddy. Everyone is asleep. Two hours later. Okay, Briar's up first. She's hungry. I feel like Briar might want to eat something like cereal. He wants to read with an adult for two hours. So maybe we'll have dad do that with her today and maybe play three games of chess. We'll go to the park. And how are you doing, Rose? She's doing pretty good good. She's having a cookie. Oh, and of course, Briar's already on the computer this morning. Having a good time. Are you inspired? You are. Perfect. I want you to draw shapes, please. Oh, she's doing a little rainbow. So sweet. And the milestone's complete. Yeah. Okay. One down. Now we need to achieve a level five of creativity. That will not be hard. And play with three toys. All right, let's play with the toy. <gasps> it begins. Nothing beats the feeling of crushing that final boss level. Whenever Briar is gaming. She is one with the universe. Is it safe to say she likes video gaming? Yes. Yes, it is safe to say Briar likes video gaming. I can't believe this is happening on its own. Like this game is writing itself. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe you're not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Briar, some of your talents might lie elsewhere, specifically in the tech and gaming, but I feel like he'd be like, focus on different topics. I bet you're smart in other places. You know, your dad, your dad wasn't always the smartest either, but he got it where it counted. You know, read to child, read to Briar. We're gonna give her a little kiss on the cheek and then read her some books this morning while it's, her sister plays with some toys. Oh, little baby. beads. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know when that was added or if it was always there and I've just never seen it, but it was so cute. And they're just chatting while in the middle, like Rose is having her little fantasy land, probably playing, you know, romantic plots out with her toys. He's gonna read the Lord of the Swings to his daughter here. Oh, maybe both will be sitting down with him. Rose cleaning up. What else do you need to do? You played with one toy. Why don't you play with another toy? Look at him, he's reading to her, so sweet. Look at them both working on their skills. She's really into this reading time. Wait, it didn't count? Did he not read for a full hour? Dude. Ugh, fine. Why don't you cook some salads for everyone? I feel like all they've been eating is baked goods for a minute. Oh gosh, she's making a mess. Why don't you clean that up? Oh, she played with three toys. Perfect. And we need to achieve a level five of creativity. Why don't you keep making some summer crafts up here? Maybe we'll make something cute. She's cleaning up. She made a mess outside because she was practicing her artistic creativity, but then she cleaned it up immediately. It was like, I can't leave this out here. <laughs> there we go. Cooking. He likes it though. He's like, ooh, salads. Those are pretty decent sometimes. Good verse and evil sims will never agree. The battle rages on. Was he around in a good sim? Oh, they're so cute. I think we need to take him to the park. It's like two o'clock on a Sunday or a Saturday. I think it's perfect time to go to a park. Wait, does he have work today? In seven hours. Ooh. I don't want to go on a work day and like miss work. Oh, and also apparently all my friends are coming over. By my friends, it means Violet. I was visiting some friends and figured a surprise visit would be nice. Let's hang out and do something fun. We can eat, chat, or even do push-ups. That's so cute. Oh, it looks like Reed's over. And Indy, the gang's all here. Ooh, and Catalina joined as well. Of course, everyone should come on inside. This is great. Hello, everyone.
everybody. Watch Sims of the Dead with Reed. That's hilarious. Definitely watch Sims of the Dead with Reed. I feel like that would be up Briar's alley. Versus I feel like Rose would find that scary. Look at that little spring crafts that she made. Yeah, she's really enjoying this. Watching it with mom. Talk about school with Catalina. I don't think she's seen you since you've been to school. And Rose wants, of course, to become friends with Violet. That is so cute. Go like chat with Violet a bit. Share ideas. Yeah, very sweet. Oh, Reed says you're so fun to be around. I'm so glad that those two are bonding. I really like that Rose a little bit reminds me of Violet. Like I think they look kind of similar. And I feel like Violet would have a lot of like impact on like Rose. I feel like Rose would look up to Violet a lot. Let's like all go inside here, okay? Oh, look at the responsible bean of Briar just taking the garbage out. Such a good egg. Tell her a make-believe story. Oh, she's already telling her her own stories. That's such a cute like thing because like Violet was the one that always read her stories as a kid so now she's telling her own first stories to Violet and someday she'll be writing these stories and she'll dedicate one to her Aunt Violet. Ah, oh, I'm deceased. All right, Fox, since you're just chilling at the house today, it's time for you to bake. Let's bake cereal marshmallow squares. Then you're gonna bake peanut butter cookies. You're just gonna bake everything. Oh, you're so much fun to be around. Violet and Rose just got a uh, good sentiments for each other. Oh no, and Violet is also Good. Which explains why Violet might not get along as well with her brother anymore. Why is Briar stressed? Oh, because of her food. Having not had any good salad or anything like that in a minute. That's okay, sweetie. Oh, she's taking the garbage out again. What a good bean. I want Briar to be able to work on thinking, but I'm not quite sure what would work on thinking for a kid. Well, we could get an adult to read to her. He could read to both of them. That's cute. Let's read to both girls. He goes to work in two hours, so we need at least just like one hour of him reading to the girls. Briar? Festering bitterness about someone you're by. Who do you have a festering bitterness towards? Is it this guy? She has a grudge against Davey, the neighbor. She's like, ooh, that guy just makes me so mad. <laughs> Wait, but you need to be listening to this. Listen to the story. Go listen to him read. He's reading for, for you mainly. And your sister also is there. Someone's calling. Sterling, I fancy some soccer tea. Oh. He's trying to get Fox out there again. Maybe start dating. No, no. But I'll invite you over tomorrow. Maybe you can go with us. Since you're getting older, hopefully you'll die soon and I can hang out with you when you die. Nothing weird about that, buddy. Okay, at least one hour has happened. Perfect. He is working about an hour, so let's make sure his needs are good. They look great. Of course, Briar goes back to the computer and Rose goes to get a salad. Ooh, but dad swiped her on that computer. He got on first to browse the web. So Briar is gonna chat with her sister. Look at her. I just love how like mad she is about that neighbor that she doesn't like because she was making loud noise. <laughs> Man, Briar can hold a grudge. I love that for us. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, uh, our sweet baby angel bros is just feeling playful. Just like chilling and vibing. I need you to be prepped for your work. You have to go there on time. Exactly on time. Perfect. Today is the day. We're getting a promotion, baby. Let's go. You look good. You feel good. Oh, look at that. That looks like the eyes of a boss man right there. Yes. Work very hard. Girls will be chilling at home on this Saturday. Look at that. All the flowers. So sweet. Love that. How's he doing? <gasps> yes. Okay, he's gonna get a promotion. He's got the check. We've got the check mark, baby. Baby. So will we have finished this? So we'll just need to witness the death of a sim and we'll be done with public enemy, which means that we need to be hanging out with all of our elderly family as much as humanly possible. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the park with every elderly person that we know tomorrow in hopes that maybe one of them will kick in. <laughs> Boom, baby. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we need to play instrument for five total hours. Draw all five types of the activity table and achieve a level 10 of creativity. Okay, cool. Come on, dad. We want to be a crime boss. Rose put her toy away and is taking herself to bed. Good night, sweeties. Such good girls. Yes! Foxberry! Oh yeah. Foxberry was promoted to safe cracker. That's amazing, buddy. I'm so proud of you. He is now a level eight person. He needs two more levels, nine and 10. So we need to be promoted two more times. <gasps> and we have work in 15 hours. Oh my gosh. So we need a promotion again. We only go to work three days in a week. It is exhausting. Reach a level nine mischief skill. Okay. And then we need to level four of handiness skill. Can we upgrade anything? Let's go sturdy these faucets. Okay. Let's go hustle. Come on. We've got to upgrade some objects. Work on our handiness skill. He does not like handiness, by the way, which really sucks. You just need to get up to level four. The upgrade is complete. Can you clean that? That looks really gross, actually. Can we upgrade that one? We can. Can we work on our mischief skill? Maybe like troll some four rooms? That'll help. Oh, we're really close to level nine though on mischief, so this is perfect. We'll just work through the night. The girls are up. Briar, as usual, is uncomfy because she's been eating crap. Don't eat crap, then there's salads in there. Grab a serving of that, okay? Feel good.
good about that, take a shower. Hopefully we'll have time to go to the park today, but dad does look a little tired. There's only so many chances we have to get up his skills and make him the crime lord that we know and love. So unfortunately we might not be able to do all the fun stuff for the girls today. We might have to focus on some skill building for dad. Where did Rose go? Rose went outside to go talk to strangers. Rose, <laughs> what are you doing? She's just like, I'm out here trying to talk to strangers. I know he's tired. You need to worry about all your needs. Take a shower, grab some food. What if he drank like an energy drink and just kept working at his skills? Is that stupid? No, it's not. There we go. We're gonna pretend that this is an energy drink. We're just gonna drink an energy drink and keep working at it. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. We're gonna be great. Can we upgrade this? Yes, okay, he's feeling happy. Perfect timing to upgrade the faucets. Sorry, dude, I know you hate it, but you gotta keep working on upgrading objects. It's a requirement of being a safe cracker. Makes sense. Maybe we could buy a chessboard. Is that weird to have a chessboard in the house? You know, maybe we, we, uh... We can't go to the chessboard, but we could bring the chessboard to us. There we go. We got you like kind of a secondhand chess table. So why don't you play a game? Fox is crushing this, really working hard. And let's invite over, you know, our relatives that may or may not die. Sterling, Vaughn, are you an elder? Yeah, you can come on over. It's an elder party. Cordell, you can come on over. Lola, Larson, and come on over. Ash, definitely you. Oh, a friends hangout is happening. Is that because I invited these people or is that in addition to this? Yep, okay, everybody come on inside. Oh, nope, the friends hang out. No, no friend hang out. Okay, we're busy. We're busy today. She's feeling flirty. Okay, Lola. Lola must have a crush on him. Oh, Fox reached mischief level nine. Hooray. Okay, one thing down. We have six hours to get to level four of the handiness skill. I think we got this. I think we got this. So let's finish our upgrade. He might just hate every minute of it, but it's fine. Come on, buddy. He just is laughing evilly like, ooh, I got him on the internet. Ooh, they're gonna be trolled thoroughly. I don't know how trolls talk on the internet. I clearly am not one. Let's purchase some books and then we'll read the handiness books and hope and pray that that will get us over the top. Come on, handiness. We're halfway there. We're over halfway there. Whoa, we're over halfway there. Whoa. One of you old people could die at any moment. I could cheat and check on uh, MCC Command Center who might die and when, but I think it's funnier if I just keep inviting old people over to the house. Maybe he wants the girls to, you know, get to know their relatives before it's all over. All right, let's read. Candy is falling three. Okay, we're so close. We're so close, buddy. How much time do we have? We have three hours left. This is not going according to plan. And some of our people are leaving and not dying, which is also unfortunate. You all die when you leave. I am going to be livid. I'm gonna be mad. Maybe I'll make a club and I'll have them all hang out with me. How do we work on the skill? Repairing and upgrading objects using the woodworking table. We have enough money for that. Where do we even have room for this? Just here? It's fine. Did this not count as a game? It did not. I'm gonna like try to make there to be a table here where two people can play a game and I'm gonna have her and her sister play a game together. And then you are going to craft some furniture. You're gonna craft a garden planner. Go craft furniture, okay? It's your new passion in life. I don't care if you're tense. You got this. You got two Two hours. Come on, come on. You got this. Oh my gosh, we got less than an hour. Oh my gosh, we only got minutes. It's coming down to the wire. It really is. Oh my gosh, we got 30 minutes. Resume the garden planner. Please, 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 please. Okay, he doesn't like it. We have 10 minutes though and we're so close. I'm gonna just do it. I'm so sorry. Normally I wouldn't remove a dislike, okay? But it is so hard to get him to level up and I really wanna focus on the next gen. So it's dumb to wait on this. So I'm sorry, your dislike of handiness is removed. You can dislike handiness again another day. Maybe you'll dislike it again very soon, but you're gonna have to push through buddy because we've got 30 minutes and I need you to focus on finishing this skill. Come on, come on, you gotta resume this. Keep going, keep going, you got this, you got Minutes left, minutes until work. Come on, come on, done. <gasps> Did it work? Did he get it? No, he was 5% away. Oof but it's fine. You know, the likelihood of us getting ahead was unlikely, but he does have the ability to get promotions quicker because of his skill that I got him. She finished a game of chess. Good job. Okay, we did it. We got at least one game of chess down. I feel like Rose is just doing it to kind of make her sister happy. It was just very cute. We'll move this stupid woodworking table into our inventory for now. They're grabbing dinner for themselves while dad is out. I'm so so sad. That was so close. I wonder if he wouldn't have stopped if it would have happened for us. We'll never know. But at least the girls are having a good time. We'll get the promotion on Wednesday. Fantastic. Briar's feeling pretty good. She liked hanging out with the older
older people today and she likes having a game of chess with her sister. They're gonna play one more game. Oh, one man job. Okay, here we go. Fox occasionally daydreams about pulling off the ultimate heist and retiring once and for all. I'm sure he does. Just like in the movies, today he just may have the opportunity to do so. It's an unusually foggy day in Bridgeport and Fox's crime organization happens to know the precise timing and route of the land grab industries armored truck takes on its daily trip to the bank. He quickly hatches a plan to parachute onto the roof of the truck, hijack it, and escape under cover of the fog. There's no telling how much money the truck actually holds. Does Fox attempt the daring heist or stick to a low risk life of petty crime? Well, we will have to quit our job and I can't do that. So we will play it safe. And we will continue on. How's work going? It's good. I hate that. Could have had that handiness skill. Ah, what can we do? We had two games of chess though, and now they're going to bed. Let's draw people really quick and then she'll go to bed. Maybe she's like thinking of illustrations to her books that she's writing. This one's about a king and a knight. Maybe it's like a romantic story between the king and the knight. They fall in love. Love that. Good night, girlies. Oh, he 100% could have gotten a promotion today, but he did not. He earned a vacation day. We will never take that. I was gonna have him bake a little bit, but he's a little hungry. So why don't you grab, yeah, he's gonna grab a cookie. I'm sorry that I didn't take the girls to the park today, but we took the park to them. You know, they had a good day playing together. We need to get this part of the challenge done and over with. I'm ready for pink Jen. As much as I'm loving his story though. It's Monday morning. The girls are waking up, ready for school today. Do you have your homework done? They both do. What needs do you have, my darling? Just a, a breakfast, grab a little a cereal maybe. Rose is grabbing a cookie, cute. Like that for you. Gotta work on maybe drawing shapes this time this morning. Gotta play one more game of chess. Maybe dad might be down to play chess with his daughter when he wakes up. Actually, he should wake up, help get them ready for school anyway. So why don't you play with Briar? You play a game of chess. He misses all his friends from college. Aw, poor guy. Ooh, but his fun's going up from playing chess with her. So that's good. And Rose is having a good time drawing more art. So everyone's working on their artistic prodigy skills. Obviously Fox has plenty of time now to work on his handiness, which I hate because he doesn't have work for two more days. So hopefully we'll get promoted in the next episode and we'll get up to level nine. Maybe we'll be able to get it promoted twice in one episode and then we'll hopefully just see a death of one Sim and we could be at the end of his reign as the heir and we'll be moving on to Rose's gen. Oh, Rose reached level six of the creative skill. Oh, she's feeling like such a little artiste, so inspired. She's going off to grade school. Briar's going off to grade school. Did you finish your chest? She did, so now she just needs to read. He is baking, yes! He Autonomously baked, I'm so proud. I honestly forgot that that was like the last requirement that we also needed to work on. So perfect, we'll work on his baking too. Do not tell me, okay, I thought that was someone calling that someone had died and I was like, no, don't die when I'm not in the room. Rose spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. This writes itself. I'm telling you, Rose is already obsessed with romances. I feel like he'd be like, eh, just kids being kids. I was a bit of a, a, bit of a heartbreaker myself. So I hope he tells Rose all kinds of stories of his his, like heartbreaker days. And she's like, it's so romantic, dad. Just kids being kids, it's fine. Oh, you know what? I love this idea. Maybe he joins a baking club of old people. This is gonna be so cute, baking club. And the only thing that they do is bake together. And they're all old people because they all love baking and it's like just him. There they all are. Unmarried older people baking club. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Okay, we've made a club. They all came over and they're like, actually we love baking too. So he's like, oh great, perfect. All right, let's start a gathering of baking club. The only thing is that they're all gonna bake together. <laughs> And uh, hopefully someone dies. First rule of baking club is that you gotta bake in baking club. The second rule of baking club is one of you dies. Bills, but luckily we can pay our bills now because we make pretty good money as a crime lord. So it's all good. Oh, looks like other people are baking with us at baking club. Love it. Look at these. These are really nice, these little bread puddings. We might need more room for baking club. Maybe it's time to expand our kitchen a little bit, you know? Maybe have the trash can over here in the hall and grab like like another area for baking. Also, we might upgrade our oven. Just some new orange appliances since he's gone up in the world a bit. He's gonna make more bread pudding over here with baking club. Love baking club. He's so focused on his baking pursuits. Maybe that'll help his skill go up faster. This is so cute. This is so wholesome and cute. Just everybody hanging out for baking club. This makes me super happy. Look at us just baking up a storm with our baking butt. Oh my God, what is happening with our are you okay? Oh no. Sterling Bay 
Harry has gone naked outside. Dislikes baking. Absolutely not. You're not allowed to dislike baking. I'm sorry. I completely forgot you had needs and that's on me. Everybody baking cakes even. This is hilarious. We've got so many just treats and things. Oh, I love this look. I haven't seen you rock this look yet. Oh, it's giving crime boss daddy and we're here for it. The problem with this is that we're almost having too many baked goods. That's kind of annoying to be honest. Why are you guys going into this apartment? Briar is angry. Annoying school day. Teachers can be so annoying. And Rose is feeling fine. They both came home with a school project and Rose invited over a classmate, Amber. Briar needs to read with an adult. She also needs a bath. So why don't we take a little cold shower to calm down? And Rose, why don't you work on some of your activity table? Why don't you draw an animal? Maybe that's your next story is about an animal. Is this your friend? Amber. Oh my gosh. That's cute. We got a new friend in Amber. Oh my gosh. And Amber walked in on her sister showering. Maybe don't walk in on someone showering. Oh my God. Everybody is just baking up a storm here and uh it's a lot it's a lot let's add some other things club activities okay maybe eating is a thing that they do so that they'll eat what we bake and oh being mischievous that's a good one big club is a bunch of jokesters anyone want to die nobody there they go they're eating the the cakes now he's gonna go to bed just in case someone happens to die you know it would be convenient so let's invite to eat come eat my baked goods from baked good club because we honestly have too much discuss sad mood why are you so sad amber do you have a, a lot of dying relatives? Could they come over? No reason. Our sister's working on her schoolwork, being a little embarrassed. It's okay, sweetie. No one's dying today, so let's end the gathering. Briar finished her homework. Good job, Briar. Proud of you, sweetheart. We're level seven. We're almost level eight. Maybe Bake Club needs to reconvene. She's done four of the five drawings. Beautiful. Well, it looks like we've done all of the ones that we currently have. So let's work on our next thing, which is playing an instrument for five hours. Oh. Oh, she's still going home sad. Amber, we tried to cheer you up. Was this not cheerful to you? This noise? I want to finish what I started today, which is working on my handiness so I never have to do it again. All right, so let's craft a bunny sculpture for my girls. I feel like they would love that. And then we'll finish our handiness skill once and for all. Hooray! Handiness skill is finished, so we no longer have to worry about that. We will get a promotion next time we are working. We are well on our way to finishing Rose's Artistic Prodigy and we are still kind of in the early days of Briar's skill building, but we'll still get there in the end, I think, before she ages up. I'm gonna leave this one here. I, I was hoping we'd be a little bit closer to finishing off Orange Gen, but I think we have like one to two episodes left, which I'm very excited about moving on to the next gen. I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye! I'd join any club at this point, to be honest. Do I need more friends? <laughs>